Mac 7 includes new bundled content that improves working with Serial OSC. First of all, Serial OSC is included with Mac 7. You can invoke Serial OSC directly from a new object. Um, Mac 7 also allows you to transform a patcher to a B patcher. Uh, I find it's easy to invoke Serial OSC from the beep sidebar, personally. Serial OSC allows you to change focus with a bang, which means that uh, you don't need routers. The grid monitor module renders the state of a Serial OSC grid. This can be used to function as a virtual monom or serve as a state buffer for application switching. A monom arc encoder can be used to generate a precise, high-resolution beep signal using the arc DC module. Likewise, the LED arc ring can display any beep signal. Because these modules are decoupled, you have a lot of visual feedback flexibility. The Launchpad module allows most Serial OSC modules to be used with the APC or Launchpad series. Uh, the module format allows concurrent symmetrical operation between native Serial OSC and translated devices. While the dedicated Serial OSC modules are easily found in the Serial OSC folder, many general-purpose modules also support Serial OSC. The microsequencer MIDI sequencer module displays and edits up to 32 steps of sequence data on one or two monom grids. The spectra oscillator allows you to edit the amplitude of 32 harmonics using a monom grid like an Axel resynthesizer. The trigger monster is a graphical rotating clock generator that projects its interface onto a variable brightness monom grid. Speaking of variable brightness, the monobright module converts variable brightness apps for use on monobright monom grids. The MIDI drum sequencer module can be used with one or two grids to display and edit sequence data. The phase vocoder and granular modules include integrated arc support and use an anti-alias display abstraction that increases the perceived movement resolution by a factor of 10. This abstraction is included with Max and can save you a lot of time versus crafting your own display interfaces from scratch. Finally, Max 7 introduced the concept of snapshots, which allows you to save the state of your patcher along with the internal state of any audio units, VSTs, and AMXD devices you're using in your patcher.